Hey folks, how's it going? Sam here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get up and running with the new Dolody runtimes inside of Web, React, iOS, and Android. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off in a brand new iOS project inside of Xcode. And first of all, we're going to go up into file and add the package to the dependencies. Um, so github.com slash lolly file slash dot lolly iOS. Going to add the package and that's going to add it to our product. I can then go ahead and import dot into my view. And then it's pretty quick to get up and running. You just need to create a dot lolly animation. And then you can either use a file name in your uh, app bundle or a web URL, which I'm going to use, and a config object. So here I'm going to go and grab the URL of my .lodi. I'm just going to paste it in there as a string and then create an animation config. So this is the uh, options, um, the playback options. So I'm going to set autoplay to true, loop to true. Uh, you can modify things like the speed, uh, etc. I'm just going to see uh, what that says. Oh yeah, and so to grab a view, just do dot view. And so there we go, we've got our animation playing. Um, if you want to control the playback settings um, of the animation whilst in the app, you can grab that set it into a variable, remove the view, and let's just clean this up. So then we can do player.view, and that should appear on screen in the preview there we go we've got our playback and then to control playback um, now that we have that instance we can start doing things like a play button uh, so player uh, dot play we can do pause and let's do something to speed it up so Pause and speed up. Um, so let's cool set speed and set the speed to three. And just get rid of that. We can do this. Get rid of the warnings. And so let's just give it a second to reload. So we can pause it and then whilst it's paused, we can speed it up and play again. Yeah, so that's how you get set up with the Dolore player for iOS. Okay, so let's get started adding Dolore animations to our Android app. So this is a Android app using Jetpack Compose and Kotlin. Um, so first we're gonna head into the settings, uh, the Gradle settings file and add our dependencies. So we're gonna be adding uh, jitpack.io um, to our dependencies. And then in the plugin management as well, we're going to then head into the build file and add uh, .lodi Android with the latest version. Currently, uh, the date of this recording, it's uh, 0.4.1. Um, so that's our dependencies managed. We can then head into our Kotlin file and add some more imports for .lodi. So I'm going to be using mode to control uh, playback mode, either forward or reverse or bounce. Um, and then adding a controller to control the instance of the .lodi player, as well as .lodi animation and .lodi source. Um, so then in our composable, we're going to create a .lodi controller so that we can cool play and pause and things like that on the animation. Uh, we're just going to set up some scaffolding so that it's uh, redisplayed nicely. 
And so then we have our dollarly animation. So I'm using a URL pointing to a dollarly um, animation. We've got auto play true, loop, speed, and frame interpolation. I'm going to disable it um, for performance reasons, but um, it's a useful feature to, to have depending on your use case. And I'm going to play forward and then set the controller um, to our CN variable. And then let's add some buttons to control playback. We got a pause button and a quick little play button. So just calling the methods on uh, the dot controller. And there we go. So that should be it for our code. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and build and uh, see how it runs. So I had forgotten to sync the Gradle settings, but after that I was able to build the app and run it. And so we have our animation playing as well as our playback controls working. Um, so that's how to get quickly set up with .lolly inside of an Android app. Okay, let's get started adding .lolly React to our project. So first of all, I'm going to install it using pnpm add at .lolly files uh, slash .lolly React. So that's going to go ahead and install the package into our project. We can then go ahead and add it to our React code. So I'm first of all going to import React as well as .lolly and .lolly React from uh, the .lolly files .lolly React package. So then we can go ahead and create our component and add it to our code. So .lolly React, a source uh, path or URL to our animation either a .lodi or a .json file. I'm going to add some extra props, so loop, autoplay, and then we're going to add a ref callback so that we can uh, have a reference to this instance of the player and go ahead and close it off. So then to grab, uh, to have an instance of the .lodi player, I'm going to use use state um, and initialize it to null and then use the .lodi ref callback to set uh, the .lodi to the one I pass it, um, which we do here. Um, so there we go. So that will hold the instance of our player. And then you can go ahead and call um, methods on that instance. So if I wanted to make a play function, just check if it's uh, not null and then call play. Um, so that's how you access uh, methods on the .lodi instance. So that's how simple it is to get up and running with .lodi inside of a React project. Okay, let's get started with Dolody Web. So I'm currently in a Vite project uh, using TypeScript. And first of all, you're going to want to add the uh, .lodi Web package. So at Lodi files slash Dolody Web. There we go. And then in our HTML, you will need to add a canvas uh, with an ID, preferably uh, styling if you want some. Um, but the idea is just so that we can get it in our JavaScript or TypeScript. So here in my TypeScript, I'm going to uh, add the, or import the .lolly package from .lolly web, where they're going to create a .lolly object and set some playback options. So we're gonna set autoplay, looping, and we need to pass it a canvas. Um, so I'm just gonna grab it using the ID, and then a source. So here I'm using a local path, but you can also use a URL. And that's it. So if we run the page, so there we go on our front page, we've got a nice looking animation now. To change some of the properties during runtime, you're going to want to add a event listener. Uh, so listen for the load event, and then you can start calling methods on the .d instance. Uh, so you can call, for example, background color or set speed. And that'll work just fine. So there you go. That's how to get up and running with .lodi Web. I hope these videos helped you out getting started with .lodi on your platform. If your platform isn't supported yet, please do let us know in the comments so that we can better help you out getting started with .lodi. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.